gonna give you guys three gang easy methods how to at least a little bit uh, enhance your productivity your well-being whatever just just being there these are very uh, very freaking <laughs> ridiculously easy um, things to do and habit habitually wise but uh, I think they are pretty they, they, they're, pre they're pretty important so let's see them number one is definitely that uh, something that we forgot to do because you know a lot of people since we were kids they told us uh, no 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 not to do that and that is staring to the sun staring to the sun there are some uh, research going up that uh, that uh, the chemicals are created in our brains that are very close to the to the uh, to the tryptomats that that, that that DMT kind of kind of chemicals the neurotransmitters that are being created in our minds and as we know that uh, chemical is uh, a lot of times uh, uh, connected to the to the to the serene ones to the to the ones that are connected to the consciousness the most so uh, uh, a lot of times what it takes is just looking in the sun closing your eyes of course not not to spoil your eyes and uh, I don't know listen to the listen to your favorite music or just the, the big point of this is to stop and and enjoy enjoy the presence enjoy the beingness enjoy the energy that it's coming it's good for our immunity system the vitamin D is being created and uh, it's, it's it's just it's just stopping there you know you're living in a matrix and we need some time to uh, plug out out of this and just stare in the sun of course with our closed eyes uh, staring in the sun brings uh, you can basically feel the vibration feel the energy that you can it's, it's easier to visualize you get into meditation or just 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 stop your mind or just listen being present listen to your favorite favorite uh, songs who loves the sun who cares that it makes plants grow okay been been listening to Velvet Underground again after a very long time number two is ridiculously easy and uh, and it's maybe a little bit it's, it's laughable technique at the, at the, at the sort of and it, this comes from the NLP uh, package but uh, I don't know, I've been playing with this a uh, longer time before, but there is something to it. And this method, uh, this, this technique is called Method of Three Fingers. And what it does is basically you um, use your memory, your intellectual powers in times where you, where you, uh, well, you need to figure out something. Like, a, um, I don't know, just do some kind of a mental task or or uh, to memorize anything and a lot of times I must say after after playing with it a long time ago that sometimes it was working and sometimes not but uh, you know the, 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 there are pr practitioners and there have been even, a, even, even some study with the London taxi drivers that were not using navigation or anything any tools and just by doing this being present putting your three fingers together and just trying to use the, all the capacity of your brain what it, what, it, what what happens is that when you have this kind of a marker this anchor that that you are holding tightly your three fingers and you're you're uh, you're basically uh, telling to your brain that okay I'm now I'm using I'm I'm using you to uh, to give me the results you know it's, it's you're not supposed to think about anything else uh, just really focus on the task that it's that it's going and those London taxi drivers some of them were using this technique with some with some uh, uh, astonishing results you know the London is a pretty big place and uh, if you're a taxi driver a lot of it happens just by just by driving around and and uh, you know uh, using your senses but at the same time this technique to kind of helped you being present and uh, use your uh, mental capacities to the most so uh, method of three fingers some might seem ridiculous but uh, you know if, if it if it helps
helps if you give see you an anchor that okay right now I am present and I'm I'm using your brain then uh, why not it does not cost a thing and uh, NLP guys are using this uh, using this thing right and the last thing is definitely fasting what is easier than to stop eating not much not much is easier than stop eating what it it when, what it happens there is just uh, basically 20% of what uh, uh, your body for, for what your body needs energy and to digest food suddenly goes away and it can use that capability that capacity to for productivity you know these are the there are the times then we we consume food we are not looking at uh, what we so much what we eat and stuff but uh, after a while we should we should get back to conscious eating and uh, maybe even deserve some space there uh, you know for uh, not, not, not to be not to be spoiled so much with the food and rather rather be um, be present and uh, and co concentrate focus on other things even like in one video Tim Ferriss was saying that uh, you know if, if there was something that he that he did not do back in his days when he was really into the business and you know in productivity and really working things out what it was and uh, he said that he should have should have gone bare, bare feet more often and uh, think fastly gives you this kind of um, opportunity to be focused more with uh, with uh, with life with being with awareness consciousness and also productivity more than uh, just uh, really being focused on things so what I do is intermittent fasting it's not for everyone but it's, it's worth a try um, just eat in the morning eat, eat well eat a lot it's also not for a lot of people because a lot of people cannot eat for breakfast I get it it's just me and then I have time I have time till it gets dark again and after that only I eat so there is a whole middle of the day that's uh, without eating and it feels great it feels great to have time and not to think about food so these are three ridiculous things you can play with